Okay, and we're back again. Uh, this is the third episode. We're going to talk about, um, well, the previous two episodes we talked about, the first one was logging in and getting started with your website. Uh, the previous one was talking a bit about uh, creating HTML content and how you do that. Um, but this episode, I think we might talk about this menu system and how that works. Um, so this is um, the Mombok Pony Club's webpage. And we have the standard menu here. There's a few extra items as well. Um, and uh, we'll, we'll have a look at that. So we obviously you've got your home. That's the, the important one that gets you back to your home page. Um, we have the about us. And this menu, this area is really designed to contain information about your pony club. Um, for us, we've got uh, membership information. So I've got a page here on um, and we talk about you know, the fees and the process for joining up and how, how that works. Um, I've got a resources page for the club committee members. Um, club history. So we have a main page there which talks about how the club came into existence. Um, and, and we've got sub pages here which cover our awards. Um, we, each year we give awards to our club members. And we've um, started recording those on our website. Um, so that's. Useful. Um, and obviously you've got a contact us page which contains all of the links to our committee and how you get in contact with them. Um, the next menu item is the club news. Now we've, we've talked about the news articles and uh, I'll cover I'll cover this in a bit more detail. If you just click on club news um, you end up in the uh, article manager where you end up with all the articles. Now there's some sub menus here. Uh, Suan created created these for us. So if we click on the zone news, you should get uh, when their website's up and running, you should get the zone information. If you click on state, this is Pony Club Victoria and their news national. I'm assuming that's Pony Club Australia. Yep, that's that one. And I've added a, uh, one under here for our newsletters, and it's got sub menus for each year that we uh, keep back issues for. There's a calendar menu here. Um, it, this really just drives off the uh, articles. So when you create club news, so for example, if you were having a competition, you would create a club news article, and uh, you would it would appear in in this calendar somewhere. I think I have one. Uh, maybe not. Yeah, so each time I've created an article, it's come up as a an entry in the calendar. Uh, not hugely useful at the moment, but uh, later on that might be. Uh, join us. Well, you know, you might want uh, some members to join your club. So there's a whole menu there. Uh, sorry, a link to Pony Club Australia's website where you join the Pony Club and let's go back. Let's join us. My Pony Club. These are the logins uh, for the My Pony Club application. Rallies. So I've created this link, uh, this menu to contain information about our Pony Club rallies. So there's a link there to, if you want to attend a rally, there's a form you fill in. Uh, one of the other important forms we have is rally feedback. Uh, we have a form here which captures um, uh, the rider's um, experience of the Pony Club, uh, the last rally. So we get some feedback on the instructors and, and so on. So that, that's a very useful form. And the rally job description. There's a gallery here. Um, this one, if I click on this, this will show our, uh, well, just to explain, we, we had the kids. Uh, uh, draw the skeleton of a horse they could learn the bone structures it was actually quite interesting you know uh, watching this horse uh, trot around and seeing how the bones move um, anyway that's why that horse is painted it doesn't matter let's let's keep going uh, and I've got a menu item here for our meat program so these are the standard menus and um, they're really just pages so let me go and show you on our clean website I'm going to create a Let's create an about us page. So let's go here. Uh, oh, I already did. Oh, well, let's pick the next one. Um, actually, let's uh, under about us. Let's create membership. 
So uh, we're going to the, I've created this menu item here. It, it's exactly the same, whatever way you go in. And uh, so before I can start doing anything, I actually have to log in as an administrator. That's why I don't have the uh, menu up the top. Okay, we have our little logo on the left. So let's, under About Us, we'll click on that and we'll go and create a page. We're going to create a, in fact, uh, well, let's add a new page. We can copy a page too, and you can copy the home page. And the one advantage of copying the page is you get all of the content of that page um, copied across, including that uh, thing on the left-hand side, the sidebar menu. Um, but let's, uh, let's, all right, let's give the page a name. So um, under About Us, what do we have on over here? Let's create membership. So this is the membership page. So that's the page name. Um, I'll give it a title and I'm going to be very creative and call it membership. Uh, tags, all right, parent page. So if you don't give it um, a parent page, uh, it, it will appear in the main menu. And in fact, what I might do is I'll do that for now and I'll show you how you create a main menu item. Um, and then, okay, yes, well, we'll see what that looks like and we'll, we'll move it later on. Uh, okay, so when we create this page, um, this is a very important area. Uh, this is the permissions, and this tells you who can access this page. So, um, in our uh, most pages get created, and the administrators can access them. You'll see that's that's mandatory. If you didn't do that, you'd have orphan pages that disappeared, and no one would ever see them again. So, they always make you have the administrators access. You can view the page. You can add pages to that, sub-pages, you can add content, copy, delete, export, blah, 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 lots of other things. This next one's an important one, all users. This is anyone who comes to the website, anyone in the public world. And uh, what we usually do is we only want them to view the page. That's the only, oh, oops. I'm going to clear those. Actually, we could probably leave them. That just means absolutely not. So we want click and what that means is um, everyone can see this page which is okay because this is a test website so let's go to add the page now this is a main menu item remember we said we didn't have a parent page so it's appeared here at the top and if we click on that it's a blank page so uh, i didn't want that really i actually wanted that membership page to be under about us so we can change that so we click on the the membership page which is this one here and we edit the page and oops and we go into page settings sorry that, I, that was a bit fast let me go back and do that slowly edit page and down here, there's a number of different um, options. We'll go through those in a minute, but let's uh, cut page settings. Okay, and in here, you can actually move the pages around if you want. So I wanted this to be under the About Us uh, page. So I make the parent page About Us and we update the page. Now, when we come back to the main page, there it is, it's gone. But it's actually hidden here under About Us and Memberships. So, key thing is this menu is built up from uh, pages. And um, at the moment, all of these pages are blank except the home page. So, that's the home page, it's got that uh, pretty icon there. And, you know, later on we'll add um, content to this, we'll put a rotator in and so on. But let's uh, let's go back to membership well we probably want to put some information there and probably i'd like that icon for menu at the side so a couple of tricks you can do so one thing you can do is go through the um process we did before we add a new module and that's a, a good way of adding uh, an html page and you can put the image back in and uh, repeat that but there's actually another way of doing it, and uh, it's pretty cool. So if you go into um, 
modules. And we added a new module, but if you add an existing module, what this does is it copies the module, the page, the region that you've got on another page. And uh, that's pretty cool. So let's go in here. The first thing is you select the page you want it from. And it was on our home page. That's where we put our um, HTML region with the um, with the image. So there it is. That's an HTML. Um, unfortunately, the text prompts don't appear here, but you can kind of work out what's going on. That's the HTML region. And we want to put that on the sidebar because remember that was our sidebar uh, menu. And where is the sidebar? Go on. There it is. Add to sidebar. Okay. And there we have it. So our about us uh, has... Um, Let's stop editing and see what this looks like in normal mode. So we have our home page, and that's got the sidebar, and our About Us page, and that hasn't, but our membership page does. So the About Us page, we're going to do the same thing. We're going to edit that page, and we're going to copy an existing module from the home page. Okay, make a copy. So um, if you don't make a copy, what it's actually doing is it's putting a reference. And I'll explain what that is in a second. So let's add this to the con uh, sidebar, wasn't it? Sidebar. Okay, so we have our sidebar there. And let's uh, can't, let's close out. So well, let's make sure we should we expect to see this picture on each of these three pages. Now there's three pages here. We've got the home, the about us, and a sub page memberships. So if we could put uh, about us, excellent, and memberships there. And now in each of these, if I click on that, it should take us back to the home page, and it does. So that's the basics of structures. Now these pages don't actually do anything. And uh, in the next episode, uh, we'll talk about how you add content to these pages. But what I wanted to show you here is um, how the pages are structured. So how this menu is created. Um, basically just pages and you've got all the content if you ever want to move the pages around you just go to the page edit the page and click on page settings and you can change exactly where the page is located and um, there's a number of other options there um, this this is the thing the option include in menu that's actually why it's appearing in the uh, menu at the top um, you can actually create hidden pages if you want and that don't appear in a menu uh, and that's perfectly fine too. Um, so one thing I do want to just quickly show you. Remember when I created the new page, and uh, let's uh, this was this page, and then I added added this um, menu this menu item at the side. Do you remember there was? Oh, let's have a look. If I add an existing module, I'm not going to because there, it's already there. I just wanted to show you what, what what I'm talking about. When you click on this, there's this item here: make a copy. Now, if uh, you wanted a different menu on every single page, you would make a copy, and that way um, you can have different. Um, menus on the left hand side this menu sidebar you can have a different one now I didn't make a copy so what that means is um, that uh, every um, other page um, so if I go to about us this area here with the logo is actually taken from the home page it's it's included from the home page it's not a copy so what what the reason that's cool is you can do this if you edit it and let's say I want to put on a link. And um, let's uh, let's create a link to, uh, well, I'm just gonna create a great link to Google. It could be anything you want, but uh, I'll just use an example here. And uh, well, let's, uh, let's actually make it go somewhere. Uh, Google.com. Okay, if I save that now, 
Excellent. This is the home page and I've added it to the home page. And if I click on Google, it will go to Google. But the cool thing is if I go to the about us page and the membership page, that link comes across. So what that means is if you um, set up, if you if you don't copy, if you just inherit this um, sidebar across all of your pages, it means you, if you've got quick links here, they'll go across to all of the pages. You won't have to edit them individually. Um, now, on our Pony Club website, the Mobile Pony Club, I actually didn't do that because I have different um, menus depending on where you are. For example, here, this is the main page. You've got opt-in. That's our um, newsletters, how to join, um, got the Meep program. But if you actually go to the Meep program, there's a different um, different sidebar menu. I, I wanted to make that context sensitive. So in this case, I didn't copy it. I, or sorry, I did copy it. I just clicked that copy uh, menu and then I can edit it and change it. And it's different for every page. So that's pretty much what I'm going to cover today on the... Uh